protect your DNA. BioPQQ can promote formation of new mitochondria. InfoWarsStore.com On Monday, the City of Austin's Human Rights Commission voted on a recommendation to ban all official travel and business with the states of Mississippi and North Carolina. North Carolina's HB2 restricts the use of bathrooms according to a person's biological sex and bars local governments from enacting non-discrimination laws. Mississippi's HB 1523 lays down different policies including preventing people from being forced to take part in same-sex marriage ceremonies and letting businesses decide on rules on the use of restrooms, showers, dressing rooms, and locker rooms based on their religious beliefs. Two laws that have fueled the LGBT community to cry foul in the face of discrimination. Whereas the states of Mississippi and North Carolina have recently passed repressive anti-LGBT legislation, and whereas the states, these state-sanctioned LGBT discriminatory laws are inconsistent with C City of Austin policy, and whereas the City of Austin enacted a gender-neutral bathroom ordinance which went into effect in January 2015, <coughs> and whereas the City of Austin has a history of boycotting governmental entities which passed discriminatory laws, such as in 2010, when all travel and business was banned with the state of Arizona when they passed a horrendous Im immigration law, and whereas the city of Boston has an affirmative interest in making sure its employees are not subjected to unfounded detentions while on official city business. It's working largely with uh, the LGBT and especially the transgender community. I recognize the um, the damage that is done just by having a bill like that exist. Commissioner Royal. All in favor, say aye. 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 So, the commission recommendation, the Human Rights Commission recommendation authored by Commissioners Brown and Bowles passes. And while all people, male, female, transgender, or otherwise, should enjoy the pursuit of happiness granted them in the free republic of the United States of America, it is abundantly clear to any parent and or female now facing what danger lurks behind the bathroom door as a result of this bullheaded approach to inclusion. A petition calling for a boycott on Target over the store's new bathroom policy promoting gender inclusivity has reached over a half a million signatures. Featured at the American Family Association website, the petition contends Target's new policy means a man can simply say he feels like a woman today and enter the women's restroom, even if young girls or women are already in there. Furthermore, the petition asserts Target's policy is exactly how sexual predators get access to their victims. The new bathroom policy also disproportionately endangers female bathroom users, according to the petition. Target is literally allowing child predators to target unsuspecting children and adult females in their bathrooms. Clearly, Target's dangerous new policy poses a danger to wives and daughters, the petition reads. We think many customers will agree, and we think the average Target customer is willing to pledge to boycott Target stores until it makes protecting women and children a priority. Izzy Abraham, a father, wrote, Basically, Target just told us, and millions of concerned parents, that we're no longer accepted, respected, and welcomed in their stores. Abraham continues, my friends, Target has crossed the line, and I believe this is a test case. Others vented on Twitter under the hashtag Boycott Target. Jordan Cook wrote, I wonder how safe women shopping at Target are going to feel when a man follows her and her small children to the bathroom. Breitbart broke down 25 reasons why Target's policy is a really bad idea, including these stories. Seattle Parks and Recreation is facing a first-of-a-kind challenge to gender bathroom rules. A man undressed in a women's locker room, citing a new state rule that allows people to choose a bathroom based on gender identity. 
A man dressed as a woman was arrested in Virginia on Monday after police say he was caught peeping into restroom stalls three times in the past year. A 33-year-old Palmdale man who allegedly dressed as a woman while secretly videotaping females using a department store bathroom was charged with several misdemeanor counts Tuesday, authorities said. A biological man claiming to be transgender so as to gain access to and prey on women at two Toronto shelters was jailed indefinitely last week after being declared declared by a judge a dangerous offender. A 24-year-old man was arrested Tuesday after a hidden cell phone was found recording video inside a Chapman University bathroom, police said. A man has been arrested after allegedly placing a hidden camera in a Starbucks bathroom in Brea and recording at least seven adults. Meanwhile, Child services are ramping up the arrests of parents for allowing their children to walk home from school or for simply playing in their backyard, as happened to a Canadian woman just a few days ago. This is nothing less than an attack on children by governments bursting with corruption. And by spending your money at Target, you are supporting a politically correct system hell-bent on crushing the family. Leftist bleeding heart liberal troll, before you mindlessly throw this report under the bus, let me be abundantly clear. The issue isn't transgenders using the bathroom. The issue is the fact that millions of women and children are now in danger as a result of this crusade for the 0.3% of the population, perhaps Politically correct corporations should simply supply a third bathroom. One for men, one for women, i.e. transgenders and the 400,000 plus sex offenders now allowed in them, and one for families. John Bound for Infowars.com The knowledge of the ancients, tried and true, trusted herbs and extracts fused with the latest nutraceutical science. Introducing the all-new Ancient Defense Herbal Immunity Blend, crafted with over 14 key ancient herbs and extracts to supercharge and prepare your body for what experts admit is the most dangerous season of the year. We have rejected hundreds of other formulations in our quest to bring you what is simply the most powerful and comprehensive proprietary formula that we have ever created in the realm of herbal immunity. For the last two years, our team has been working with top doctors, nutritionists, and chemists to develop the ultimate nutraceutical formulation. Experience the benefits of combining over 14 ancient herbs and extracts with exciting new advances in nutraceutical science. Now is the time to secure ancient defense for you and your family. Visit ancientdefense.com or call 888-253-3139. That's ancientdefense.com.